What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 8.1 beta 1 back to iOS 8, just regular iOS 8, not iOS 8.0.2, though this will work for that too. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you that I am on the beta. You go to settings, general, and about, and there you go, 8.1. This is just the beta version. Um, it has like some bug fixes and that sort of thing. Um, I'll post an annotation for a link in this the description on how to get iOS 8.1 beta. Um, but if you're looking to hold for a jailbreak, then you're probably going to want to stay around iOS 8. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is have iTunes up on your computer. If not, I'm pretty sure once you plug the device in, iTunes will come up. So you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and plug the device up. Alright guys, the first thing you're going to need to do before you can um, officially restore it, you're going to need your firmware, and since I'm using iPhone 6, I have it selected right here, you're just going to search for your firmware. The green is what's being signed by Apple, the red is what's not, um, but they have every Apple device on here. I'll post a link in the description to the site where you can um, download your firmware. But yeah, they have um, from every iPhone pretty much. <clears throat> um, the global being, I believe, um, for Sprint, GSM being for AT&T, and unless you have the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, there's just only one firmware, or one file to select. But yeah, that's how you get it, guys. Okay, so once you got your device plugged up, you're going to see it pop up here. And there's going to be an error message pop up on your screen straight across here. It's going to say error for 54 or something like that. And that's just going to be telling you that um, your device cannot be synced because it's on a like a beta firmware that iTunes is not supporting right now. So you just click OK on that. <clears throat> then you're going to go up here to where it says iPhone. And then you'll get a summary. And what you're going to want to do is, and you make sure you have a backup from... Hopefully you did this on um, getting to iOS 8.1, uh, you made a backup, because the backup from 8.1 isn't going to work on iOS 8. But uh, So what you're going to want to do is hold the shift key. If you're on Windows, if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold the option key and you're going to click restore. Then you're going to browse for your firmware, and I have mine in the documents. And then you're just going to click on your firmware, and then this is just going to tell you that it's going to restore, verify with Apple, and you're going to click restore. And this will go ahead and run through here, and it'll pop up saying that it's going to restore your iPhone or whatever. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, my iPhone is now restoring. It's on iOS 8, um, the official, not on beta, not iOS 8.0.2, but iOS 8. And you might want to do this soon if you plan on doing a jailbreak, because this on being on iOS 8 is going to be your best bet to get a jailbreak if you're on 8.1 more than likely the jailbreak is going to be delayed and you're not going to be able to do it for even longer <clears throat> I'll go ahead and show you that I am on iOS 8 go into settings about and there you go iOS 8 and Apple is still signing iOS 8 that's the only reason that you're able to do this but like I said make sure you do it soon um, that way if you want a jailbreak you can do so much sooner than you'll be able to on 8.1. Um, but if this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I think the next video I'm going to do is to show you how to gain remote access on your PC from your iPhone. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.